off camera, was John Belushi as wild as he seemed on camera? Now I got to get into uh, my dope using days. Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> yes, you are. He and I both were very much into cocaine. And um, more than once, John would come knocking on my door. And I would, you know, open up the uh, aluminum foil and let him hook up. And John would go from one end of the aluminum foil to... And by the time he got through, I had 10% of what I really had there, right? So for about two or three years, we were good friends. But then he got this manager, whose name I will not call, uh, who I later on found out was an absolute racist. And John's attitude toward me changed. Because I do believe to this day, I might have been a blues brother. Because John was always telling me, there's a project I want to talk to you about. There's a project I want to talk to you about. But he never got a chance to. When he got this manager, he stopped talking to me about it. Oh. And the reason why I know this manager was after me, because when I left Saturday Night Live in the 80s, I found out through gossip that this guy was actively telling people not to hire me. Are you serious? I'm serious. But did like, did for, you ever do anything personal to this manager that no, you know of? No, no. I found out from a friend of mine who was the star, one of the black stars, I'm going to call the name of Love Boat. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yes. He was doing the same thing to him. And cause for a long time, I really d didn't know whether to believe it or not because gossip is a gun thing, right? But when my friend, he said, man, he did the same thing to me, and he gave me a rundown of what happened with him too. So I did a lot of horror movies during the 80s for like mm -hmm. oh, five or six years. You know, I got a whole lot of horror movies, mainly because I could not get people to hire me. By the time the 90s came in, something happened. This guy had died, I think. And that's when, uh, you know, when I hooked up with uh, the, the Jeffersons for a couple of years. Um, and I hooked up with um, Rock. And I hooked up with um, 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 Martin. And later on, Jamie Foxx. So you believe this guy who we will not name in this interview, you believe that when he passed and can stop, for lack of a better way to put it, blackballing you or closing doors, that's when things started to open up for you? I can only, look, I know that's what happened. And look, I'm telling you. What Was I, he that powerful in Hollywood? If I told you. If 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 people have heard me say he was John Belushi's manager, they will know who I'm he is. I'm gonna look it up. No, I'm gonna go look it up. He was very powerful. I didn't know how powerful he was, right? And when I heard my friend, who was one of the stars of Love Boat, the black star of Love Boat, uh, say he'd done the same thing to him, then I said, okay, you know, I didn't know why, but this man, uh, because he was a Jew, right? And mind you, when I came from New Orleans, my view of Jews was very positive because I was aware of the fact that a whole lot of Jewish lawyers put their careers on hold to go down south and help with the civil rights movement. So when I went to New York, I had that in my mind about Jews. Of course, I got to New York and I realized that it wasn't all that way. You know, it wasn't all that way. Um, one of my experiences in New York was that I went to uh, rent an apartment on 74th Street uh, between Central Walk West and I think St. Nicholas. And the Jewish landlord, I went to that apartment, I came and I said, well, and I'm sorry, it's already been rented, right? So I called, at that time, Eleanor Norton. You know what Eleanor Norton is? In Absolutely. DC. Uh, had, she was young then, had been hired as the head of the rental department of New York, something like that. So I called that department and said, hey, I think I've been discriminated against. They said, give us the name. They said, okay, Mr. Martin, we're going to have a white checker. Go and see. Sure enough, the white checker went down to the same landlord and was given the apartment. So then they called me and they said, Mr. Martin, you were right. They said, show up on Monday morning by 10 o'clock. We'll have a lawyer come, and he'll take care of it. Sure enough, 10 o'clock was there waiting. A short black man said, you Mr. Morris? I'll tell you. He said, wait here. He went down, 
and talked to the lawyer. I know what he told him. He probably told him something that like, you violated the law. You couldn't be sued, all of that, something like that. As long as you got the apartment, I went, and that's when I got the apartment. That took me out of my naivete about 100% of all Jews. Mm -hmm, some mm -hmm. are very much on the left side. Some are very progressive. Some sensitive to the racial thing, and some are not. 